Hey everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to be talking about Terminator Dark Fate. So Terminator Dark Fate is, I guess technically, <laughs> uh, it's the third Terminator movie, technically, even though we already had a T3. This is the new T3. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to make any more jokes about uh, sequel. This movie is... Uh, Installment. I mean, sorry, this franchise is installments because there's been enough jokes about that already, specifically with Red Letter Media, and if you haven't checked them out, I would recommend uh, doing so. But anyways, let's get on to my thoughts of Terminator Dark Fate. This movie's not good. I, didn't, I, I couldn't get into it. The first two are some of my favorite movies of all time. The third one is... Uh, I reviewed uh, the first three already, but the third movie, I gave it like a D-plus saying it was like all over the place and a mess. Now I think it's one of the best installments in, the, in this franchise. Not because it's good, but, be, but because it's so bad it's good. And I had a blast watching it. Uh, it was so funny. Next up is Terminator Salvation. Uh, that movie is fine. It's kind of dull uh, for the Force... For the first 40 minutes. But. Once we uh, get past that. Uh, that's when it. Kind of commits what it's trying to be. It's trying to be like Call of Duty. In the Terminator franchise. With a, like a great. Like everything's all grey. It looks fine. And it just feels like a fan film. And once you get to that point. Uh, past the 45 minute mark. Uh, that's where it kind of just commits to all of that, and it just becomes okay. A Terminator fan film, that's all it is, and Genesis is just awful. And Dark Fate, uh, I like more than Genesis, though that's not saying all that much. Terminator Dark Fate kind of felt like an R-rated version of Terminator Genesis. That's all it felt. Terminator Dark Fate, what's wrong with it? Uh, the script... It's kind of all over the place. The things I like in it are uh, the actress who plays uh, Grace in the movie. I liked uh, seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger back. Uh, I liked uh, seeing Linda Hamilton. I liked her in the movie. There's one other character in this group of characters. And uh, she was uh, fine in it. Her character's fine. The, the actress who plays her is fine. It's just... Uh, <laughs> there's nothing really that made me go, Oh, that's... This is a very strong character. The villain in this movie. The actor. Uh, he's good in it, though not great. The first action sequence in this movie is uh, basically pulled out of Terminator 3, only it's not as funny as Terminator 3. Because it's taking itself much more seriously, and there's things I can't talk about because that gets into spoiler territory. And how it's uh, presented is fine on its own. It's just ruined by horrible editing choices. If you've seen... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how often I say this, but... Personally, I, this is kind of a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand uh, slop, choppy editing. It just gets on my nerves way too... It just... It really gets on my nerves whenever that happens. Ever since I watched Resident Evil, the final chapter, the special effects in this movie, they're passable. Some of them are really cartoonish and took me out of the experience, but... For the most part, they're, they're passable. I can give them a pass. Where the movie kind of falls apart for me is... Really just uh, how it was presented. It just felt been there, done that, and... As far as story goes, it doesn't have much to offer, and... I was just sat there waiting for to be impressed, and I was never impressed by the script. The only thing I could you know, get invested in was, like, the stuff that was kind of new, and even all that isn't all that great. It's just a different take, well, not 
I wouldn't say different. It's just a uh, new idea that's uh, is that is new in theory, but in its execution, it just feels recycled. So this movie has uh, some really bad editing. It has special effects that are fine. The acting is passable at overall. Uh, there are comedic moments that don't work for me. It never made me cringe, but it just felt flat for me. And that's this whole movie. It just was flat for me. I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. It was just a very bland experience. And as a hardcore t fan of the first two, that's disappointing for me. And that's really all I have to say about this movie. So I'm going to give Terminator Dark Fate a C-. minus. I had very few positives about this movie, but the reason I didn't give it a lower grade is because there are so many other movies that I've seen that are worse than this that, were, that I would give a D plus or lower. And that's really the only reason. Aside from that, there's nothing to get out of this movie. Thank you for watching uh, my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Terminator Dark Fate down below. Sorry for being so late on this review. <laughs> and also uh, tell me about this new angle I'm using. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it too weird for you? Let me know down below. This is the first time I'm using it, so I hope it's bearable at least. And my social media links will be in the description down below. So follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. So thank you for watching and have a great day.